be on your doorstep Whoa! Hey, look at this! This is a trail left by some animal. Take a closer look. It appears that something's been dragged along here, and it looks like it leads all the way down to the lake. Hey, and over here, it looks like the grass has been all flattened down. Let's go see where it leads. Come on. Well, whoa, take a look at this. As you can see, the branches of this pine tree go right across the trail and quite low, so it can't be a deer or some tall animal. It's got to be something short. Let's keep on going and see where it leads. Here is another sign right along the trail. As you can see, that this branch has been cut or chewed off by some critter. My guess is it's a beaver, because that's what beavers do. Take a look at this. This is incredible. This is not just a giant pile of sticks. This is, in fact, a beaver lodge. And there's a room below me right here that's about three feet high and four feet wide where the beavers live. And there's probably um, a pair of beavers, a mother and father beaver, and maybe some little baby beavers, and they're called kits. And they cut all these branches and drag them over here. And some of these are not just branches, see some of these are honking trees that they brought over here. And here's an entrance right here where they go in and out. And there's another one right down there, below me over there. And those are ones that are above the water line. But when the water was higher, see the water is low on this lake this year. And when it was higher, this was their entrance to go in and out so that predators could not see them, that they could go in their home and out their home without even being seen, because this was under the water. You know, one amazing fact about the beaver is that it's related to rats and rodents. And it's only found in North America. It's a special North American critter, and you can find it in almost every single state. This is a lodge, like I said before, not a dam. You see, beavers will build dams to block streams and create large bodies of water. Now, these beavers built this lodge on a large body of water, a bay of Lake Huron, so they didn't need to block any stream or anything. So this is just a lodge, a home that they live right next to the water. Now, beavers get to be up to four and a half feet long, sort of like the size of a medium-sized dog. And they have big flat tails that they'll smack on the water to alert other beaver members of the family that there's danger, or to tell those predators to get out of town because they don't want them there. And they also have, now this is the cool beaver thing, they have these big, huge orange teeth that are two inches long, eight times bigger than your incisors, okay? Those are the incisors, the two front teeth right in the front, okay? Now, they have separate teeth in the back that they use for eating. The front two incisors are just for chewing. Speaking of chewing, a beaver took this and chewed all the bark off of it. You see, beavers have five fingers, and so they will eat this like corn on the cob. I'm serious. They'll just eat and go, I'm, 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 and eat right across like that and eat all the bark off of that. Now, not only do beaver use their incisors to cut off small little pieces of bark to eat, but they also use it to cut branches. And look how smooth and sharp those cuts are. That is just incredible. Now, most beaver, when they cut down trees, will do it by themselves. But there's a story about a colony of beavers, which would include a mom and dad and the children. Stop right there. Sorry. It's, it, no, it wasn't you. It was me. Here's Let's okay. pick up with, uh, now there's a story. Now the, here's a story right. of a beaver family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that lived in British Columbia and worked together to cut down a tree that was six feet wide and 110 feet tall. That is incredible. That's a record. Beyond the door.